Hey guys, what's going on? Greenfield Gear. Welcome back to another video. I'm kind of on the pattern of doing one every Sunday, uh, which is pretty fun. It keeps me on a good schedule and I kind of set stuff aside. And so I'll probably do stuff um, here and there in between, but um, that's been kind of my plan. It's been cool. And uh, thanks to all of you for watching the channel and all that stuff. Um, lots of great comments. Love interacting with all you. It's, it's a blast. So uh, really appreciate it. So one of the things I did maybe over the holidays is spend some time organizing my card room. This is the card desk featured in these videos. Um, and I just got a little more organized in the way that I set aside cards and all that kind of stuff. And, and one of the things I did is at TJ Maxx or something, I get these bins, right? And they're actually awesome because I've been able to organize them. So I have stuff that maybe I have to mail out. I have stuff that's coming in. And this is a box that I created, as you see here, meticulously labeled for channel. And so I've had a lot of fun because this is stuff that maybe comes in through a mail day or something. And I just kind of throw it in here. And then I get to go back through it and show all of you. And that's cool. So let's do it. Um, this is a bunch of cards, as you see here. Uh, I've let this build up for definitely a few weeks. But I, I bought um, quite a few lots and stuff. So um, let's get into it. I'll show you what's in here. Um, the first is um, a basketball card. I don't collect a lot of basketball. Um, but this guy's Mitchell Robinson on the New York Knicks. And my father-in-law is crazy about him. Uh, and keeps sending me emails about him and, and uh, thinks he's got a lot of potential. So um, it was kind of fun to get on eBay and poke around and pick up a couple Mitchell Robinsons. So that's kind of fun. I kind of collect um, um, him as he is recommended by my father-in-law. Then I had some lots and I also opened up, and you can see it in the back here, one of these vending boxes from 87 Tops just to kind of see you know some of the desirable cards and stuff. And um, I don't know that any of these are really grade worthy, but it was fun to go through and pull the good cards. There was the, the McGuire, there's the Bonds. A lot of you have seen these cards a million times. See the centering on this one is right to left, not great at all, but still cool to see. Pulled this Clemens, which actually doesn't look too bad. And another Clemens. Um, a big card for me is the Bo Jackson in the 87 tops. So I actually got a few, um, if memory serves, in the box. And then I also got one or two in a lot. And I can't remember. And I don't know why I have this one in a top loader, but maybe that was the one that looked the best to me. So um, that was that. Then I've got some other stuff coming in. I really like to collect numbered cards. I like to collect, um, you know, shiny, colorful cards and so on. So I think in a lot um, on eBay... I picked up these two, uh, Starling Marte and this Nomar Mazzara, um, purple um, from Topps Chrome. And these are both numbered, as you see here, to $2.99. And so those are kind of fun. And so I, I just basically have a box of, of lower numbered cards and kind of building up my collection there. Um, I keep thinking the ones that I really like are the blacks to 67. I'll show you some more in a second. Um, or maybe those are on the way. I'm not sure, but um, those were fun. So then I've, I found an eBay seller who was uh, really kind and had a lot of nice lots. And so, and then one of those situations where if you bought multiple lots, then, you know, they'd combine the shipping and all that kind of stuff. So I got a bunch from this person. And so let me show you what I picked up. Uh, the 85 tops, this uh, chrome variation on the Ronald Acuna, got two, got three of those. I just thought that was a really sweet card. Um, and then back to my, you know, numbered cards and so on. I got some of these first Bowmans, uh, numbered, Ramos, Mercer, Murphy, and then JD Martinez, and lots of these numbered to $4.99. I just like collecting those, and they're not expensive cards at all, but it's just one of those things. This is. This is kind of a collector's collector video, I guess, because this is just kind of some of the stuff that I like to get. Not real fancy cards on here by any stretch. Um, but it occurs to me that I can get, there's a Colton Walker to 150 and a Bowman Chrome. Um, a Tavares, really nice shine to that one to 299. Hans Cruz for the Rangers to 150. 
Um, so you get second round pick in 2017. Just I can get these as singles and in these lots and stuff. This one to 125, Jordan Adams. Um, and I don't have to buy a blaster box. And these are the cards I'd be really excited to pull out of a blaster. So there's a Cabrian Hayes. First rounder, 2015. Miguel Amaya to 299. Nice shine to that one. A Royce Lewis to 250. Nice purple. And then some more of those to 150. Carter Keyboom. Matt Carpenter. I kind of got a lot of Bowmans here, I guess. I didn't really realize that. Red Sox, Michael Chavis to 250. Hunter Green, 250. And Shohei Otani to 250. So it'll be fun to put these into the box and so on. So that was that. But there was just more from this seller. So it was really cool. And it actually came shipped in a one of those nice um, plastic boxes and stuff. And um, Marco Luciano. You can see a couple of those. And then a couple of Bowman Chromes too. And I don't know that these are all near mint mint, but they're close. Um, I started to look at some of them. Here's Gunnar Henderson, Brady Singer. There's a Buster Posey, Clint Swing Away Sports Cards. You might you might just get that one in a box someday. Uh, Josiah Gray, Ryan Helsley. So again, I told you this is just a lot of there's a purple. Adonis Medina, Christian Santana to 4.99 Bowman Chrome. Some more Bowman Chrome. Brock Burke, Logan Webb. And then there were other these these come some of these rookie lots. And so I'm not really a speculator, but um, you know, for a few bucks, two bucks, something like that, uh, I'll pick up four of the Bowman Dustin May rookies. So that was kind of cool. Um and then I kind of went down a rabbit hole with this guy, Victor Victor Mesa. And so picked up uh, a bunch of Bowman Chrome first Bowmans of his. And here's the base Bowman. And there's another first Bowman. Actually, I, should, I guess I should get those sorted because they're all... Anyway, I'll go through them later. So, that was that. Then, from a different seller, I picked this up. This was a cool lot. Um, I really like collecting numbered cards and, you know, gold cards, foil cards, those kinds of things. And so this was a lot of 52 i think gold cards from the last three or four years and you know i'd have to break a lot of wax to pull this many golds so i just thought it was really fun so all of them to 2018 2019 2020 numbered whoop with merrifield Nationals team card, Rockies team card, anyway, thought that was fun, and again, not an expensive pickup, but for 52 of them, you know, certainly would have to break a lot of wax to, to pull that many, so that was a lot of fun, so I've got a pretty good pile of those building up, let's see what else we've got in here. Here's a few more golds. I guess this actually might have been part of that lot. And I think I sleeved these because these were the rookies. Um, not because I thought that they were particularly valuable. But I sleeved them there. Harold Ramirez. I always think of Lord Cardboard. I really like his channel. And he's always talking about his guy, Harold Ramirez. He's got an incredible collection of Harold Ramirez autographs and stuff. And then Ahmad Rosario, who just left the Mets, right? I don't know. I always kind of put the Future Stars cards in with the rookie cards. But anyway, um, cool. So that was that. Um, another guy that I picked up a few of. My pile's falling here. Um, from the Rays, Brendan Lau, or Lowe. Um, a few of his Chrome rookies. I think I got four of these. And 
you know, at first glance, some of them have some surface issues and stuff. Um, but I didn't think that was a, a bad pickup. I kind of set aside his cards. He's a player I kind of like. Um, I told you I've been setting aside a lot of cards. Um, here's a Luis Robert Bowman Chrome. And then one of these Spanning the Globe Roberts. So some of these were all part of a lot. Yeah, they, they were definitely this. So that seller that I really liked that had shipped them nice and, and had those lots with the Victor, Victor, Mace, and so on. Then I went back on that person's um, store to see if there was more stuff selling. And so I got these Roberts. Um, I got a pink, a couple of pink P. Alonzo refractors. Uh, a Dustin May pink. Um... And again, an agreeable seller, and I, I just made some offers and then combined the shipping, and it, and it worked out pretty well. And it was fun for these to just show up. Um, I got some Adley Rutschman's Bowman Chromes. Um, three of those. And then one base paper. So that's kind of fun. Um, just to have some of his cards. This is my only Bobby Witt Jr., but pick that up. First Bowman. So I'm not sure that this is a mint card, but why not? And then here's another one. This was fun. Um, Christian Pache. Bowman paper. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. And it was cheap, cheap, cheap. So the price was right. Um, really nice uh, refractor auto. Uh, Adam Simber. Um, from the Indians, really nice on-card, blue ink. What a cool card. Um, and so um, Vintage Card Steve keeps him inspiring me. And the only binder that I really have, um, although he's got some great ones, and so does G's Mikey and some other channels. If I get my act together, I'm going to do it. But one of the, the binders that I do have is kind of an autograph binder. And the cards that I put in there are refractor autos that are numbered and stuff. And, and again, it doesn't have to be stars, but this card will go in there. just think that's super cool. So I kind of have a page um, of the, the horizontal ones. Um, and then I've got some um, Bowman Chrome, first Bowman, you know, kind of prospect autos. Those were part of the deal as well. Here's Danny Jansen to 150 Bowman Chrome, rookie. Super cool. And again, uh, is he going to be a transformative player? Maybe not, but um, just need to have. I think that's a gorgeous card, so that'll go That'll go in my autograph binder, too. Actually, both of these, because they meet the criteria. It has to be either numbered or a refractor or both uh, to make it in there. And then this was like a 99 center. This was a very cheap card, but a, a dual auto for the White Sox, and so I'll give that one away um, for sure. But it was just too good of a deal to pass up. Uh, some of you know, if 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 I am a super collector of anything, it's probably Chris Dunn um, from um, um, from Providence. But he was drafted by the Timberwolves, then was on the Bulls, and now uh, is with the Atlanta Hawks. But unfortunately, is is hurt for this season. Uh, but I picked up these two optic Chris Dunn cards. So I don't collect a lot of basketball, but I definitely collect Chris Dunn. And my collection's getting um, uh, quite nice. Um, had the opportunity to watch him through his career, and so just fun collecting his cards. So a couple of optic prisms, you know, this kind of blue and then this purple. So those will go in my Chris Dunn uh, stack. And then finally, just a few more cards. One of these other lots was a, a, a football lot, so it, there were a bunch of Lawrence Taylors. And I'm not going to turn down Lawrence Taylor cards. A bunch that I didn't have. And then a couple of multiples. But definitely some nice ones from the 80s and the 90s. There's another All Pro. Isn't that the same card that we just saw? Yeah. Um, so a nice lot here. And again, you can see some chipping and those kinds of things. These aren't mint cards. This I love this set, 83 Tops Football. I'm definitely a fan of it. I'm not as obsessed with it as I am 82 Tops Football, which I will do a video on. Um, soon love that set that might be a binder set for me um, but then some more of these uh Cabrian hayes bowman chrome a couple of base papers four base papers a little bit more football uh this nick chubb rookie 
um, was part of that that whole lot there with the football and the haze and so on. And then I broke um, one of those target boxes of 2020 update. And so I'll just finish with this because um, this is a long video by my standards. Um, and these are some of the ones I pulled out, this Bob Feller Blue. I love these number one prospects from update. I know a lot of people don't like update. I was totally digging it. I had a lot of fun breaking it, but they did the 89 tops um, design. I think that's super cool. Did pull this Luis Robert um, from the Turkey Red design. I thought that was cool. Uh, my first and only Devin Williams, um, rookie of the year. So I thought that was a cool rookie to get. Got the Bo Bichette um, rookie debut. Got this Adolis Garcia. I can't believe he's still in the set because um, he was a guy that I picked up a bunch of autos of because I seemed like he seemed like a player I, I could kind of become a fan of and um, has since not played in the major leagues much. Um, there's an Aquino rookie debut, which I thought was nice. Here's another one of those number one prospects, Dylan Carlson. Bo Bichette, rookie. Turkey red, really nice. Our man Randy Arazarena, that's the Tampa Bay Devil Rays card from Update. And there's the Alvarez rookie debut. Love that pose. Great photo. The rookie cup. Very cool. And then back to my guy, Cabrian Hayes. Seemed to have a lot of his cards. Uh, but that was a blue um, variation. It's not numbered. But still, um, it's cool to have that in the blue variation. So that's that. We emptied it out. That's the four channel bin. Um, thanks for checking it out. I got lots more videos coming up. I have... Another PSA submission. I have an SGC return coming back. So those two videos coming for sure. And I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to do a hockey video and talk podcasts with you a little bit too. So those are kind of some things that I'm planning. But thanks as always for uh, watching. If you had a favorite card from um, the stack, let me know. Or, or types of cards that you like to collect as well that I'm collecting. Uh, leave a comment. That would be cool. All right, I'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks again for watching. See you. Bye.